Hey guys, I'm back with another video to teach you how to build websites with React.js. So in this video, we are going to build a very simple project that you can see on the screen. So it's image slider that I have built in React purely using HTML and CSS. So let me give you a simple demo of this project. So in this project, we have a slide where we show the images and then we have two buttons to forward and to go back. So if I go forward in the images, I'll be able to see the next slide available in the slider window. And if I go back, I'll be able to see the previous image. So stay tuned till the end of the video to learn how to build this kind of sliders. And if you like watching videos on this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So guys, here I have a fresh React application that's running on my local host. 3001 let's go back to the visual studio code and write some code to build this application from scratch so here in the visual studio code i have a fresh react application so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to remove all the default code here and we are going to put hello world so in this fresh react application what i have done is i have added four images in the public folder so i'll be posting this entire directory into github later you will be able to pull on the entire code from the github and try this on your own so i've added some images here and i have put hello world into the fresh application let's save it and let's see on the browser if it is working fine so on the browser we can see our hello world application is working fine let's go back to the visual studio code so first thing that we are going to do here is under the source folder we are going to create a new folder that is called components and under components we are going to create a file that is slider.js and this will be a react functional component and i will name this component as slider so as of now this component has just a simple text slider written in it so we will go and import this component into app.js so here in app.js let's import slider and in place of the hello world we are going to place this slider component so let's go back to the browser and see if our slider component is working fine so here on the screen you can see that there is a text that shows slider let's go back to the visual studio code and let's start making changes in the slider component before making any changes in the slider component i'll do some changes in app.js so in app.js i'm going to change the name of this class to container and i'm going to apply some styles to the div tag that is enclosing this slider component so i'll put some styles here and i'll name them container styles and here before the return statement i'm going to define this container styles so on this entire div component we will apply this container styles i'm going to give it some height that is 300 pixels and we will increase the width of this div component and i'll assign it as 700 pixels let's give it some margin top so the margin top will be 15 percent and let's also give it some margin left 30 percent and let's give it a background color for now because as of now there is nothing in this div component there is only a slider component within this div and this slider component is currently having just a simple text here so we are going to give it a background color so we can see clearly how this div tag looks on the front end let's give it a background color as yes and let's go back and see in the browser how it's looking so here on the browser you can see that we have just created a div component with the yellow background here and this div component has a width of 700 pixels and height of 300 pixels and with the help of margins we are able to bring this div tag in the center of the page so that's all we have done till now and now we are going to use this div component to place the images inside it so let's go back to the visual studio code and start working on this so in order to place the images in this slider which is contained within this div component first we need to have a url to all the images so all the images are placed within this public folder here so here i'm going to create a simple array of images and where i'm going to just place the links to these images because these images are uh, placed in the public folder we can directly access these images by their names so i have four images image1.png image 
image2.png image3.png and image4.png so i got this simple array of images here and i'm going to pass these images within this slider component so we have passed the images inside this slider now let's go to the slider and import the images here as props so now we got the images inside this slider so let's go back to the browser and see uh, what changes we need to do on the front end so in order to make our slider look good so if i go to the front end so what exactly we want to do is we want to remove this slider text and instead of this slider text we need to have an image which should be the background to this container so let's go and do that so here on the slider we will remove this text slider instead we are going to give some styling to this div tag i'll say style and i'll name it as slide styles and here at the top we can define this slide styles so on this slide styles basically we need to give a background image and this will be so if you remember we have this images variable here which is an array so i'm going to as of now i'm going to place just a image add the index 0 in this array as a background image to this so here on the browser you can see that the slider text is gone which we have removed but we are still not able to see the image let's inspect this and let's check this container inside this container we got this image so if you see here so if you see here in the browser we are able to see the image image 1.png but on the screen we are not able to see any image why is that so if we closely look at this if we see this div tag you can see on the screen that this div tag has a width of 700 pixels but the height is zero so we need to give some height to this div tag in order to see this image on the screen let's go back to the visual studio and give it a height so here we have assigned the background image properly and we are going to give a height to this div pack and the height will be 300 pixels and we are going to make this background size of this image to cover so it should cover the entire div tag let's go back to the browser so here on the browser we can see that we are still not able to see the image here so i just realized that we have made a mistake in naming the images we named this image as you can see here on the console we can see that we have named the image as images png so let's go back to the visual studio code so here in visual studio code you can see that the actual name of the image is image 1.png and we have named it as images 1.png so that's where we have made the mistake so we can go to app.js and correct the name of these images in the array so we are going to name it as image 1.png image 2.png image 3.png and image 4.png now let's go back to the browser so now here on the browser i can close the console and you are able to see that we are successfully able to build this slide here but this is only one slide what about the other uh, three images how to show them in this slide so let's go back to the visual studio and learn that so here in the visual studio you can see in slider dot js we are only able to see one image because i have given the index of that image so i have given the index of zero now what if i change the index to one let's save it and go back to the browser and see so now you can see that the image is changed the image that we see on the screen is image 2.png because that's placed on the index one now what if i change the index to two here so now the image that we see on the screen is image 3.png which is placed on index two but we want this to happen on the click of a button so we want to make this as dynamic feature so let's go back to the visual studio code so here in slider.js i am going to create one state variable that is index and set index and i'm going to assign the value of zero to this index by default so here we need to import use state and here on the background image i'm going to put the value as index so now this this is a dynamic variable that we are putting here so let's save it so now on the screen we are able to see the image number one because that's uh, that's what the default value that we have assigned to the index so now we, we are going to build 
the two buttons backward and the forward button here to see the other images on this slide so to add two buttons here let's go back to the visual studio code we will make some changes in the slider.js so here within this div tag which has a background image of a slide we are going to add two buttons inside this so i'm going to add two div tags so i've added two div tags inside one div tag we will put a backward button and here on the another div we are going to put a forward button so we need some symbols to add here let's go back to the browser and find the forward and the backward buttons so to find the forward and the backward buttons that we need to place here i'm going to search forward emoji and here i am able to see some symbol that i can copy directly from here and i can go back to visual studio code and let's place this forward button here so now let's go and find the backward button as well let's go back and this time i'm going to search backward emoji so here i'm going to copy this backward emoji if i can now let's go back to the visual studio code and paste the backward emoji in the other div tag so we got two symbols here so now let's see how they look so here on the front end we are able to see the two symbols here but they are not positioned correctly they are positioned within the this div tag so we need the backward button here and we need the forward button to be placed somewhere here so we are going to apply some styling to these two so let's go back to the visual studio code so here in slide dot js let's apply some styling to these two div tags so this is the forward button so i'm going to put some styling here so first thing we want to do is we want to increase the font size of this button to let's say 50 pixels and we are going to give it position as absolute and let's give it a margin top from the top we need it to be centered at 50 percent and from the left we want this to be centered at 80 percent let's save it and see how it looks on the front end so on the screen you can see that we have placed the forward button at the correct position the same thing we are going to do for the backward button let's go back to visual studio code so to the second div i'm going to copy this styling this time from the left i need it to be placed at around 20 percent so now you can see that we have placed both the buttons in the right positions but if i click on this buttons i am not able to change the slides here and one more thing i want to do do is when i when i hover over this button i want this to be as a pointer so let's go back and apply some more styling to this div tag so here on the div tag we can add one more property that is cursor to pointer let's add this to the another div tag as well so now on the browser when i hover over this it changes to the pointer so it's evident that it's a button to change the slides so now we want to put some logic here so that when i click on this button it goes to the next slide and when i click here it goes to the backward slide so let's go back and apply this logic on these two buttons so here in slider.j Yes. basically what we need to do is when this is the forward icon so here on this div tag i'm going to put a on click function so whenever someone clicks on this what we are going to do is if index is less than images dot length minus one i'm going to set index to index plus one so what this logic is doing basically so the initial state of the index is zero and that's why here on the images array we have placed this index and we are only able to see the first image as a background image so when somebody will click on it we are adding one to this index so when we add one to this index this index changes from zero to one so when it changes to one we will be we should be able to see the second image let's go and test this logic so as of now we see the first image as a default i'll refresh the application and we are able to see the first image so when i click on it you can see that because the index changed to one we are able to see the next image if i click again next next so i'm able to properly make this button work now if i click on the back button i'm not able to change go back in the images so we are going to put an on click function here as well let's go back so here on the second button i'm going to place again the this on click function but this time the logic should be different the logic should be like if the index is greater than zero then i'm going to reduce the index by minus one so if index is greater than zero i've reduced the index to index minus one so if we are at index three let's say so when somebody clicks on this it goes to index two and the images go back so let's go and test 
this logic again on the front end so here on the front end i'm going to refresh the application so this is the default image that we see so if i go forward this is image number two image number three and this is image number four if i click back we go back again to image number three two and one so you can see that this slider is working perfectly so now what we need to do is we need to remove the yellow background that we see on this div bag when the image is trying to load so we'll go back we will go back to app.js so here we added the background image yellow just to see the div bag but now we are going to remove it let's save it let's go back to the browser and test again so if i click on the forward so now we don't see the yellow background we just see the images so this is something we were trying to learn in this video if you like it make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave in the comments thank you so much for watching this video Thank you.